Hi everyone, it's Ryan here from SmartSportsTrader.com and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to make over £100 a day from sports betting. Last year I made a profit of £39,845 from the sports betting markets which equals £109 a day. So in today's video I'm just going to go through the strategies and approaches that I use on a day to day basis um, to show you how you can approach the markets the same and look to make money from sports betting. Alright, so in this video I'm going to break it down into three parts. In part one I'm going to look at the low hanging fruit that exists in the sports betting world. So this is match betting and arbitrage. These are great strategies for beginners um, and I still use these strategies from time to time as well just because it's so simple and even small amounts will add up uh, and when you first start and you can actually make quite a lot of money from these two strategies. In part two I'll take a look at value betting and we'll also cover casino offers as these are both mathematically proven ways um, to make money long term from well from casino offers and also from the sports bay markets and then in part three i'll go on to more advanced methods where you may no longer be able to bet with sports books anymore especially the soft book makers and you you have to bet with the betting exchanges or if you're lucky enough you can bet with um sharp book makers such as pinnacle so yeah there'll be three parts to this there'll be level one level two and level three uh, which will cover wherever you are in your sports betting journey all right, so let's start off with the low hanging fruit and the easiest way to make money from sports betting for beginners and even for people that have been doing this years is from match betting. So this is taking advantage of sign up offers like this one, which is bet 20, get 20 pounds in free bets. Um, and these are, you know, these type of offers, uh, they used to be my bread and butter years ago. This is how I started. But like I say, it's still a very, very easy way to make money online. So we found this offer, bet 20, get 20. Now I'm gonna use some software to help me. Um, so I use Odds Monkey, which costs like 20 pound a month, but I've been using it for years uh, and it helps me with all types of my betting. So value betting, uh, any bits of arbitrage or match betting that I do, um, I still find it very useful. So yeah, I look here um, using that Odds Monkey software to find a match. So it has to be above 2.0. Um, and we want it to be close in odds. So we've got Rhino Bet here, we've got Blythe Spartans at 2.37, and then we've got Bet Connect, which is a betting exchange at 2.4. So I'm gonna back it with Rhino Bet and lay it with Bet Connect. Um, so you can see it's 20 pounds, we put the 20 pound stake in and Odds Monkey's calculator will tell us uh, how much we'll lose on this initial bet. So we lose 49p on this initial bet. So you can see I put this in here, that bet one, we lost 49p. So what happens now is that bet will settle um, and we lose the 49p but then after that we are given a free bet by Rhino Bet which will um, be for £20 which will be for a similar amount. So I'm going to do the same thing now but it's going to be with a free bet and then you can see at the type of profit that you'll make. So you'll see I also go in at higher odds as well. This just helps you retain um, a larger profit from uh, your free bet. So we've got one here, we've got the machine Rhino Bay is 13 and with Smarkets it's 13.5 so this will be for the free bet so we'll just change the calculator here and it'll be 20 pounds and it will be 13 and 13.5 and you can see here that the profit from the free bet will be 17 pounds 44 so we put 17 pounds 44 in and then you can see that the total 16 pounds 95 so you can see how profitable match betting is uh, and how simple it is as well all right so that was a brief example of what match betting is and like i said it's a very easy way to make money all you do is replicate what i showed you there with other bookmakers so you take advantage of all the sign up offers that are available so there might be like 20 or 30 that you can take advantage of in the uk and then there are also existing offers that you can take advantage of so there's uh, bookmakers that will still send you free bets after the initial sign up offer is done so yeah like i say it's a very easy way to make money and if you want to learn more about it i'll add a guide in the description from my site smart sports trader so that you can really understand the process and another question that you might have is if this is such a good strategy and it's so easy then why do you need to bother with any other strategies uh, and that is a very fair question but the thing is that bookmakers they will only give you a limited amount of free bets and once they see that you know that's all you're interested in then they'll stop sending it to you as they're losing money from you as a customer and there is only a limited amount of bookmakers that you can do it with so like i said there's about 20 or 30 but eventually the free bets stop coming and then you have to move on to other strategies if you want to continue to make money from sports betting 
Okay, so moving on to the next strategy, and the next strategy is arbitrage betting. So again, I'm just using Odds Monkey to highlight what an arbitrage bet is, as it's just a lot easier to do it with an example. So here you have Mefra Town, and they are available to back with a bookmaker called 32 Red and Grosvenor and Unibet at 2.14. And this is a betting a betting exchange called BetConnect, and they're available to lay at 2.05. So when you lay a bet, you are basically taking on the role of a bookmaker, you're basically accepting someone else's bet. So if you can back them at higher odds than you can lay them, uh, it's going to be an arbitrage bet because you, you're basically covering all outcomes and you're going to make a profit by backing something at higher odds than you're taking uh, the lay bet at. So let's just have a look here. So there's £197 available with BetConnect. So I'll bring up their calculator and this will just basically work out the profit. So we stake £197 with 32 red bet at 214. Then we're going to lay it and bet connect take a 2% commission, I believe. But you can see that by backing something at higher than we're laying it at, we're going to make a profit. So the profit on this selection would be £6.52. So yeah, this is just a quick example of what um an arbitrage bet is it's a very simple process much like match betting but it just requires larger stakes and again you might be saying okay well this is a great strategy uh, why do i need to learn other strategies which i'm going to continue to talk about in this video well unfortunately bookmakers start to limit you when they see that you're an arbitrage better uh, they don't like the fact that you're they're not making money from you again basically you'll be taking value odds um, and eventually they will limit you so you can only stake very small amounts you might only be able to like stake 10 pounds 20 pounds on selections uh, or sometimes they just ban your account completely so yeah boss match betting and arbitrage betting are excellent strategies and a good way to make money long term you have to kind of develop uh, more strategies if you want to to make bigger amounts Okay, so we've quickly covered match betting and arbitrage. And like I say, these are the easiest ways to make money from the sports betting markets. And initially you might be able to make hundred pounds a day, hundred dollars a day from these strategies. But what will happen is that over the long term, you'll find it very difficult to sustain that just because the free bets will stop coming, bookmakers will start limiting and banning, uh, and banning your accounts. Um, so yeah, long term isn't the solution unless you have a lot of friends and family members that are willing to work alongside you so that you can kind of bring in new people to, to make new accounts and, and you know, like I say, work alongside them uh, and figure out some kind of deal where you can, you can both profit from it. And you know, some people do that. Some people do have a large network of people that they can work with and, and constantly can get new accounts. But uh, for the, the majority of us, we have to find other ways to continue to make money. Okay, so moving on to strategy number three, which is value betting. So I thought the best way would just be to go through a quick example of what a value bet actually is. Uh, and it is quite similar to arbitrage betting, but I'll explain um, why there can be a difference sometimes um, after I've shown you the, this initial example. But you can see here in the Man City versus Arsenal game, uh, they've boosted these odds from, they were 1.25 and they've boosted them to even money, so 2.0. So that's a goal to be scored in the Man City versus Arsenal game in the first half. And if we go over to Betfair, we can see that they have their price at 1.44 uh, and this is a lay bet. So obviously there's quite a big difference there, um, but we know that it's value with Betfair because Betfair is a much better representation of what the true odds are due to the fact that they're not limiting and banning players. They're allowing winning players to bet on their platform um, and you also have you know, sharp betters backing and laying both bets. So um, you just get a much better representation of what the true price is on a betting exchange than you do on a sports book. So whenever there's a price that is, um, you know, better with a sports book than it is on the exchange, then this is usually going to be value. All right, so that was just an example of what a value bet is. And that was a massive value bet. So you don't usually get bets. Um, you don't usually get such a massive discrepancy between the price that the bookmaker has and the price that the betting exchange has but that was just to kind of illustrate what you're looking for but yeah if you can find odds which are above the betfair exchange lay price uh, if you can consistently back them uh, you're going to make money long term and this has been proven there's a lot of data out there the likes of trade mate and rebel betting i've done studies with thousands and hundreds of thousands of bets now to show that if you do that in the long term you will get a graph that goes up uh, it won't go straight up because you will have losing periods so that there is some variance and that's the big difference really between arbitrage betting and value betting is that with arbitrage betting it's you get that nice kind of upward graph that goes straight up for you 
um, but with value betting it will kind of go down and up. So you might ask you be asking the question then what's the point of bothering with value betting when you can just lock in kind of nice consistent profits with arbitrage betting. Uh, and the reason for that is that sometimes with value betting um, there will be a value bet exists uh, and it doesn't exist as an arbitrage bet due to the commission that is charged by the exchanges so you might have a 2% value bet um, which you know isn't an arbitrage bet and also because you're not paying commission in the long run it is more profitable to take um, just consistent value bets but again it's up to you how you want to take it and most beginners would just be happy to kind of grow their bankroll and, and just take arbitrage bets and, and leave a little bit of value on the table so to speak. Okay, so moving on to the next strategy and that is taking advantage of casino offers. So I thought the best way would just be to walk you through an example here. So this is with topcashback.co.uk um, and PokerStars are offering £32 cashback if you sign up, deposit 25 and wager that once. So you can see this is a pretty good offer because even if you were to lose that £25, you'd still be making a £7 profit anyway. However, the best way to tackle it would actually be to play um, blackjack. So blackjack has a really high return to play rate. So you can see it says here 99.6 if you play it optimally. Um, so that means for every £10 that you would stake, you would expect over the long term to lose four, only four pence from, from um, one hand of blackjack, which is pretty decent. So, you know, if you had to turn over that £25 and you only have to do it once, you're only going to be losing like 10p, which means that you know, with the £32 cash back, it makes it super profitable. So this is a very easy way to kind of tackle casino offers and make a little bit of money. And if you want to learn optimal blackjack strategy, um, there's places like Blackjack Apprenticeship that you can go on, which will teach you how to do it. Or you can just download the chart and that basically tells you what, you know, when you're dealt a hand, what you should do with it. Um, and yeah, and it's, it's a very easy to play optimal blackjack strategy for, you know, two or three hands and then just take the cash back. So yeah, it's a very, very easy way to make money. Um, and if you want to learn more about it, because there are levels to kind of casino bonuses. So that would be level one. That's almost like a match betting offer where you're guaranteed to make money. And then the risk level can go up and it becomes a little bit more like value betting where if you're expected to make money long term. And, you know, the maths are the maths say that you have an advantage, but it won't just be um, this straight kind of uh, nice, you know, profit graph it will kind of go up and down you have to get used to it but yeah if you want to learn more about it i will put a guide in the description um, and it's very easy and if you want to find a place that has the offers as well again i'll just bring up odds monkey as, as like i say i use them a lot um yeah they have a casino hub and you can see here and um, the total amount of reload offers that they have available um, based over the next seven days is like 170 pounds worth so you can see there's some pretty decent offers here um, with potential profit you know five six pounds uh, and this all adds up yeah so casino offers still a decent way to make money and, and worth looking at if it's not something that you're doing already okay so we've covered four really good strategies there that can allow you to make over 100 pounds a day on average from the sports betting markets and from casino offers however like i said earlier the only way to kind of do that over the long term would be to be working alongside other people and multi-accounting so to be able to do those types of offers on multiple accounts would you know would definitely enable you to make over 100 pounds a day and i'm sure there are still people that are doing that you know there are people like i said with big networks or you know lots of family and friends um, who are willing to help out and willing to create new accounts and you know maybe that's you so if that is you those four strategies um you know they could be good for you you, you could kind of do this for years and make decent money However, like me, if you don't have tons of family and friends who are willing to kind of work alongside you, you're going to have to move on to more advanced methods and you're going to have to look at kind of finding edges um, with the betting exchanges or with sharp bookmakers or in betting shops. So that's what I'll talk about now. There are several approaches that you can use to try and make money from the betting exchanges and from sharp bookmakers. So some people will use purely a statistical mathematical uh, models to try and make money. They will try to price games better than you know the sharp bookmakers and the exchanges are doing. Um, but there's other people such as Paolo Ribello and Sykoff who are in play football betters and traders who have uh, done very well. They've made millions of pounds and uh, Sykoff has gone on record and saying that he doesn't use uh, any type of modeling and that he basically just uses his experience of, of watching thousands of football games and and you know watching thousands of markets uh, and over time he's been able to pinpoint when the market is wrong um, and when there is value so yeah that's good news for you know those of us that are not 
mathematical geniuses that you know there's not just one approach which will work. Other strategies that I've seen people use to make a profit from the betting exchanges and sharp bookmakers from is using historical data. So they might look at the you know five years of historical data for the last five seasons in football and they're looking for biases um, that have shown historically to make a profit. So there might be a bias in the draw market or in you know backing the away team at certain odds, odds above 10 or something like this. Uh, and yeah, they're basically looking to try and find some patterns um, that have shown historically to be profitable and that will make money going forward. And I've seen people use, you know, use this approach and do very well from it. Another approach that I use now uh, and heard about a few years ago is a top-down approach. So this has been popularized by a lot of the bigger American bettors who have done very well um, betting for years yeah, in the American markets and in the offshore markets. But yeah, the top-down approach is basically looking at how the market moves over the course of let's say a week 10 days uh, and trying to spot patterns which allow you to beat the closing line uh, and this creates value bets so this is the approach that i use now so I'll, I'll give you a bit of an example all right so i just wanted to explain the top-down approach with an example here so like i say with the top-down approach you're kind of looking for repeatable patterns in the market which are going to allow you to to beat the closing line and basically have value with your um, with your bets. So something I've noticed in the past couple of months is that Stockport are a big market favourite and what I mean by that is the market tends to come for them quite often um, and when you see money coming for them on their opening odds uh, it usually continues to come. So here you can see that Bet365 which are a pretty big bookmaker and can take decent bets opened them at January the 22nd at odds of 2.2 uh, and you can see they were immediately backed into 2.15 a day later they were odds of evens and their money's continued to come for them so when i see that with a big bookmaker like bet365 you know i see that opening odds that money's coming for them then i expect it to continue to come you can see that on pinnacle they opened it like two days later at odds of 2.06 and again it's been backed in and you can see across the board basically money's come for them on every single bookmaker so that for me is a good sign um, you know when you see money coming across the board on opening odds that you know sometimes it does revert but i've seen this happen week in week out with stockport so for me it was a clear signal that I should just be backing stockport and then similar i saw kind of similar movement with um Oostende in the uh, belgium league as well and i managed to get money down on on betfair for this one with stockport i had to uh, get money down at the shops and you can see that I backed them at 3.8 here for £100 and now they're at 3.65. So yeah, that's when we talk about the top-down approach. This is what we're kind of looking for. We're looking for repeatable patterns in the market which you can use um, to make money, to make consistent value bets. All right, so just following up on the last video, I wanted to show you what happened in the, the next Stockport market. So um, this is, I'm recording this about five or six days after um, the video that you all just watched covering the top-down approach. So a back stock port here with bet365 now this account's limited so i'm only able to win up to 50 pounds but i still just put some money down anyway um so i got odds of 1.8 there and then i backed them on the exchanges uh, at 1.79 as well so i got money down there um and yeah like i say it's just this repetitive pattern that i've seen week after week and you can see that stock port are 1.71 today so this is the day of the game uh, so I expect that this closes with some decent value so you can see that early on there wasn't too much money backed on, on Betfair but on um, Smarkets and Matchbook they opened the, the market a little bit earlier so I was able to get down there. Um, yeah and you can see again across the board they've just been backed in. Um, so, so I'll just show you. Sorry Stockport are the away team so they're playing crew today. So yeah like I say with the top down approach sometimes you can just see these repetitive patterns and they allow you to to beat the closing line and therefore you're getting value so you can make money in the long term doing this so yeah i just wanted to make this video to validate what i was saying before um, so that you, can, you know you can see that i'm not just talking a lot of rubbish okay that pretty much covers everything i wanted to talk about in today's video if you enjoyed it or learned something from it please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll also add guides to every strategy that I've talked about in the description. So if you do want to get more in depth and, and learn more about these strategies and kind of push yourself on so you are making on average, you know, over hundred pounds a day from the sports betting markets, then these strategies can really help you do so. If you've got any questions, um, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to give you a decent answer. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See ya.